This is your boy Chef Fellow back with a banging video. Today, you guys, this video is so banging, it's gonna be delicious. We are doing baby clam pasta. That means we're doing clams into a pasta. Also, we're gonna add artichokes. Yes, we're gonna do artichokes in our pasta, saute it down with celery and yellow onions. And also, we're going to do, with that clam pasta, we're going to do fried oysters. Yes, sir, fried oysters. So I'm going to walk you guys through what I'm doing. Can you bring that over here? Please. These are my clams right here. Those are my clams. Look at that. I love clams. So I'm going to go ahead and get those into there. All right. I'm going to put all of them. We want them all. Okay. Right here, these are my oysters, okay? We're going to get those battered up in a minute in the deep fryer. And also, I have what you call clam juice to make my pasta with. All right? We got celery, got cilantro to top it off with, yellow onions, and we use an angel hair pasta. I use different types of pasta, but today, my daughter recommend angel hair because she loves angel hair. And she's an angel. So, in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed that last video with me doing the deep fried frog legs. It's a southern thing. I know most people don't eat frog legs every day. I understand that. I do videos for everybody. I do it for the southern. I do it for the north. I do a little bit of every, everything. You know, I mix it up. Okay? And also... Coming up Thursday, that rabbit I was cutting up two weeks ago, we're going to go ahead and deep fry that rabbit. And then we're going to jump off into some sandwiches and subs and some other southern stuff. But starting Sunday, I'm starting out Soul Food Sunday. So you guys, make sure you watch the videos every Sunday. I will be doing a soul food dish for my people. Everybody that watch. And everybody that loves soul food. But in the meantime... We're going to get off into prepping our celery. We're going to get our celery nice and prepped. And anytime you get something from the store, you want to make sure you wash it off. But we're going to prep these celeries up. Alright. We're going to dice them up. Because we're going to saute these celery. And they ain't going in our pasta. Sometimes I make a chicken pasta, shrimp pasta, crab pasta, all veggie pasta. And also, we're going to get off into some, some kebabs, some chicken on a stick, some veggies on a stick. We're going to do it all, man. I hope you guys be hitting me up in the comment box and let me know, you know what I mean, what you guys want. I do shows for YouTube, and also, I do shows on the other side for TikTok. As you guys follow me, you guys know. So, meantime, we're going to get this topped up. Alright, you know, I'm going to just dice it up, but in the meantime, have you guys been practicing social distance, wearing your mask, using your gloves, using your hand sanitizer, you know, things that you need to stay safe, you know what I mean? Also, I want to send a shout out to everybody that watches me, I want to say thanks for watching your boy Chef Velo. I got a lot of videos that's going to be banging coming up. I mean, I'm running all summer. I ain't getting no sleep. I'm working. I'm grinding, y'all. So, as you guys know, I get it in. I get my videos in. And uh, we got a couple car videos coming up. And then I'm going to have to jump into some fishing because I got some guys out there that want me to do some fishing videos. I love to fish. You know what I mean? I just have been having time because I've been working a lot and I've been out of town. So I'm going to jump back off into some fishing. We're going to do some big bluegills fishing. It's about that time of year, July. A lot of bluegills. That's what I chase. So we're going to get this thing started. We're going to get our celery nice and cut up. And we're going to put that in that bowl right here. So, in the meantime, I know you guys, like this guy, this guy be cooking and, and you know, I mean, the way I process the chickens, you know, it's the way I was taught. I'm trying to hurt nobody, no animal, but I know it's part of when you processing things, you're going to hurt things. This is the way it is. No matter if you inject it, 
no matter if you cut his neck off, no matter if you wring his neck off. It's part of, so I hope nobody think that I am constantly, you know, I do like animal cruelty. I'm not trying to hurt no animal. All I'm trying to do is provide what God blessed me with. All this food, God bless you with. Pigs were pork chop, bacon, and sausage. They got to process, I mean, you know, process a pig. You know, you got to look at cows. They process cows. What you think they do to them? They take them somewhere to where you can't see them and inject them or whatever they do and cut up. And then you, that's how you get your ribeyes, your porterhouse, your fillets, your strips. You know what I mean? That's how you get your oxtails. You know, come on, man. You know, because, you know, some some things people come at me, you know what I mean? It, it ain't cool, but I understand that, you know, you know, everybody have their own opinion. But I'm just saying, I'm not trying to hurt no animal. I love animals. I have dogs and cats and everything, you know what I mean? Uh, and my uncle have a pet raccoon. So, you know, we love animals, but, you know, when it's time to process things, you got to understand before they had big warehouse where you can take them and, and do what you got to do to them to where you guys don't have to see it. You know, that's what they did at first. I mean, that's, that's what they now doing. But at first, back in the early 60s and the 50s, you know they was processing the way. That's how I, it was passed down to me. It was passed down to my uncle because my great ancestors, that's the way they processed things back then. And that's the way I learned. So I just want to let people know I'm not evil. I love I love animal and I love to cook and I love to process things that's for my body. Because I know if I'm processing it, then it's the right it's right for my body. It's not getting injected. It's fresh from the earth. It's fresh from my land. And what I'm putting in my body is good for me. But what I don't, I can't trust the ones that processing because a lot of things in the store I don't buy because separate reason because they put too much of that chemicals in there. And that's why, you know, these females and these guys have their hormones and all this stuff going because what they put in the food. You know what I mean? But, you know, they don't talk about that, you know. Now let's get this started. So we're going to chop up our celery, dice it up. I'm going to dice it up because what I'm going to do in this skillet right here, I'm going to saute the celery. I'm going to saute the yellow onions. I'm going with the, the, the clam. Also, I'm going with the artichokes. And we're going to saute everything and get it ready. Okay? But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. So what I want you guys to do for me, get you a quick beer or whatever, whatever you got to do. And I'm going to come right back because I want you guys to know that I'm here for you guys. So go ahead and do what you got to do, and I'll be right back. Nice, well, I got my celery all cut up. I'm going to get ready to cut my onions up. Yes, it is. Uh, we want to dice these up too. Man, this is some good stuff right here. Good stuff. So, you guys, I have a meatloaf burger sandwich. Barbecue meatloaf. Have you guys ever had barbecue meatloaf? But it's made into a sandwich with a Hawaiian bun. Also, it comes with coleslaw and fried onion rings and home fries. It's good, man. Barbecue meatloaf. So, but I make it into a sandwich. So, do all kind of stuff. Uh, we're going to jump off, you know, towards the winter time. I'm going to try to translate over. I'm going to start doing a lot of soup, like French onion soup, potato soup. Uh, I'm going to do tomato soup with Texas toast, you know, grilled cheese, and a lot of stuff. Like oxtails, beans, pinto beans, and ham hocks, you know, that old country stuff. You get your fat, hot water cornbread, collard greens and turnips, you know what I mean? Yams. Man, it's going down, baby. But my daughter wants some pasta. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some clam pasta. Last time, about a month ago, I made crawfish for you guys. I'm gonna make chicken. I'm gonna make a lot of pasta, man. You know, I switch up a little bit. So that's what we do. But uh, what I'm doing is just dicing my onions up. Because I'm going to glaze them down. 
I have my Casper skillet sauce that I cook my Casper's in, but I'm going to saute my celery, my onion, and my clams. Okay? But we're going to get with this. This is a lot of people, you know, that got mad at me. I'm starting to cry, you guys. Ah! So, it's a lot of people who got mad at me because I processed the chicken, you know. But it is what it is, man, you know. Like Mama say, you gonna always have somebody to say something about you. It's just the way life goes. What you do, keep your mouth closed. You just keep it moving, man. Keep it moving. So, what we about to do, you guys? We're gonna start on our oysters first, and then we're gonna get this water boiling for our pasta, and we're gonna start sauteing. Okay. Hope you guys enjoying this show so far. Got my onions diced up. Crying. Mm. Normally I run water on my onions. It kind of keeps it down from you tearing up. But, uh, that's okay. So you guys stay with me. I'll be back in a minute. So you guys, we're back to action. 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 So, I took the top of my artichoke hearts. And now I drain, I drain the juice off. I want to put those inside of there. As you guys can see. And I'm gonna put these inside of here. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna saute these with the pasta. Okay, in the meantime, I want you guys to take a look at my uh, clams I have over there. All right, you guys take a look, good look at that. All right, now over here, we're gonna turn our fire up. And what we're gonna do, we're going to take our oysters and I'm just going to wind them up. Take them all off. And we're going to, what we're going to do, we're going to drain, drain the oyster juice off. They're going to go into here and then we're going to put them in some flour and we're going to fry them. All right. Can openers over there. I don't want to do that. I don't feel like walking over there. I don't mind about working a little hard. Sometimes people, if you want something done, do it the old school way. Or you can do it, you can do it the new way. Check on my oysters right there. We're going to fry those. Hey, you guys hit me up in the comment box. I don't like, I like, I like raw oysters. I don't like the other kind. I don't like cooked oysters. I like raw oysters. But, you know, fried oysters not that bad. So, you know, there we go. So now, for my pasta, when I am boiling pasta, I put a little bit of salt in my water so it don't stick. All right, and then over here, where is it? A garlic powder for my oysters. All right, I got another one on here. All right, shake them up, turn them around. These are already cooked, but I'm going to fry them. And then what I'm going to do is dump them in my flour. Like that. I want to get them ready to fry them. You know what I mean? Go a little bit at a time. Don't want to put too many in there. Alright. Oysters. Get them to fry. Put them on the side with a little ranch dressing, a little hot sauce, a Tabasco sauce, 
Pour a little lime on it. Mm. Make a puffy one on it. Ooh, bar! You know what I'm saying? So, meantime, ain't nothing wrong with using your teeth. I ain't gotta use no scissors. So, I'm gonna use spare skillet sauce. Okay, lemon herbs. Put a little bit in there. Just like that. Alright. Pour it in there just like that. That's what I want. Alright. Get that heated up. And then we'll have everything going here. Okay? Everything is gonna be banging! I'll be right back! Now, see what I'm doing? I'm sifting the uh, flour out. Getting that flour out. Had a bigger sifter, but I don't know where it went. I'm gonna drop my oysters over there. Cause these are just like baby, baby oysters. So big ones. I smoke them. I eat them raw. But as you see, I'm sifting it out. Taking it, taking the flour off, dropping it in there. Put our oysters right there, going down. I'm gonna let them talk. All right. When I say talk, that means the grease start talking. Over here, we're gonna go with onions, celery. Put that celery in there real good. We're gonna go with artichokes heart. Right, some hard soaks hard in there. And then you guys, when they start coming up to a temperature where it starts sizzling, we we'll start stirring it. Okay, your boy Chef Bello, I'll be right back. It's gonna be banging. So now we wanna start adding our clams. So our sauce, we start adding our clams. So those are baby clams. That's inside the celery and inside the artichokes heart. And over here. This is Alfredo sauce, but I'm going to mix it with clam sauce, I mean clam juice, to give it that clam, nice clam flavor. Also, take a squirt of lemon inside of there, and stir it up, squirt of lemon inside of there, then I'm going to add a little clam juice to it, just like that, and I'll mix it up. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't want it too thin. You don't want it too thick, okay? And you know, as we got the water getting ready hot for our pasta, got Angel here going in, and we'll be right back. Now I'm gonna add a little garlic powder. Also, I want a little crushed red pepper for a little heat. And then, I'm gonna go with fresh. Fresh lemon juice inside of it. Alright, we'll get that stirred up. Man, that smells good. Please smell that. See the clams cooking all through? Celery. Oh my god. Boy, it's gonna be banging! Let me get a little, a little bit more. I don't know about, about that. Anyway. Got oysters over here, nicely fried. Mm. 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 Woo! Go! Oh, oh. so, our water's almost at the temperature that we need it. I'm gonna drop another back of oysters, and then we're gonna come right back. I'm going to put my pasta right in there. Ah, this is Angel Hair because Angel Hair is a little, little bit. It's just, you know, Angel Hair, fettuccine, anything like that, man. It's just. My dog like that. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to go with some little clam chowder, celery, all that good stuff. Put it in there like that. Alright, let me get my stuff out the way. I 
guys see I got a lot going on. We're going to go for a little parsley. See that? Look at that. And what we're going to do, we're going to flip it. I'm going to get that pasta all in there. So where are my little spots? Take this and turn it around like that. Now you want to make sure your clam chowder and all that stuff get inside the pasta and you want to get the full taste of your Alfredo sauce. So now what we're going to do is that whipped up. Right. What we're going to do is plate it. Plate your pasta. Oh man, that's lovely. That's beautiful, man. Huh? So, Go with a little cilantro and chives on top, and then I'm gonna kick that off with a little fried oysters right there on the side. Check that out, you guys! Man, that I have my clam chowder pasta with artichokes and the works. You know what I mean? Artichoke, celery. Yellow onions, sauteed down, pasta is done. Beautiful thing, man. You know what I mean? I don't eat bread, nor I make some garlic bread or whatever. But I didn't cook now because I don't eat it. But I want to say thanks for watching this video, you guys. If you guys like this video, go to my channel. Make sure you like, share to other people, comment, also subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. You guys, Thursday, I will be back on making that deep fried rabbit. So uh, hold me to it. I'll see you guys Thursday. Have a blessed night. I'm out.